Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about attempting to learn another language by reading a book that you're really familiar with. And for me, that is Harry Potter. Harry Potter has brought a lot to my life, like a lot of people my age, and I actually got my start into writing by writing Harry Potter fanfiction. Do not judge me. It was amazing. It was about the Marauders. Actually, it was awful, but it was still about the Marauders. <laughs> And of course, when I wanted to learn something new, I wanted to get a new skill, I figured there was no better place to turn to than Harry Potter. For years, I have been wanting to learn Spanish. I live in Texas. There are tons of Spanish speakers here. And when I moved to Texas, I was still in middle school, so I did take a little bit of Spanish in both middle school and high school, but it's just like, it never stuck. And for the longest time, I thought I just couldn't learn languages. I thought I just wasn't good at it. But this year, I've been doing and trying a lot of things that I used to think I was bad at, and turns out, not so bad, so I figured I would add Spanish to that list. But before I could work my way up to actually reading Harry Potter, I had to start again with the basics. I needed a refresher course, and for that I turned to Duolingo. Duolingo is amazing, especially for Spanish because they just have so much material, but I know that's not true of every language. That being said, when I was trying to learn a little bit of conversational Japanese when I visited Tokyo this year, there were tons of resources, there are tons of apps to help you practice the basics, and I will link down below the ones I used to learn Japanese, and I'll also link down below. Duolingo. So search and you shall find. You can find something for the language you're trying to learn. After completing Duolingo and doing a few workbooks, I moved on to these beauties. They are precious. <laughs> they are very little, which is good because reading is hard. <laughs> It's good to start somewhere small when you're trying to learn a new language, and I'll be the first to admit that Harry Potter, while the first couple of books are meant for a younger age range, their reading level really jumps throughout the series. And also, it's just kind of dense. There's all sorts of new words, and it's just... So I didn't want to start with Harry Potter. That's what I will say. I did not want to start out with Harry Potter because I tried, I picked up the book, and I was... So it was so hard. <laughs> but eventually I made it and that leads me to actually reading Harry Potter. As you can probably tell, I got this guy from the library. I freaking love the library, you guys. <laughs> and I have a very specific process to how I read it and the tools that I use and I will go over that right now. Book. Again, obviously. <laughs> Notebook. Also Harry Potter, because why not? And a pen. Not Harry Potter themed, though I would not be opposed to trying a quill or any quill-like pen, so if y'all know of any Harry Potter themed pins, let me know. I would, I would buy that. They have Harry Potter themed everything. It's amazing my entire room's not filled with Harry Potter stuff, to be honest. <laughs> and then I sit down with my book, my notebook, and my pen, and I start on whichever page I'm on, and I will write down that page number on the top of my notebook. Then as I read, any word that I don't know or that I can't immediately figure out within that sentence, I will write it down. Just write the word down. I will do this continuously as I come up with new words that I don't know. Once I finish the page, I will look up all the words into Google, then reread the page, now knowing the correct translation. Some words I do read and I understand them after writing them down, maybe not within the context of that sentence, but within the ultimate paragraph. That's okay, I still didn't know it immediately, so it's good practice to figure it out. A lot of the time I will actually remember how the page goes or remember how the story goes, and so I'm able to guess what the word should be. And it's exactly why I chose Harry Potter. You'll see that my page one compared to my page 100 is vastly different in size and the number of words that I wrote down. Which was somewhat surprising to me because I actually thought that I had the first page of Harry Potter all about Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four Privet Drive. Like, I thought I had that down, but nope. <laughs> I am so super excited to do this with the rest of the series. I already have the Chamber of Secrets or La Camara Secreta. At some point I would love to see how long it takes me to actually complete one of the books if I dedicated all of my reading time to it, but as it is now, it takes me a little bit too long and I get a little bit antsy for more books. <laughs> but honestly, it may not be until the last book or maybe not even happen because while it is reading, it actually, it feels like work a lot of the time and the best, like the best kind of work, really, because it's Harry Potter and I'm learning a language and it's all cool things, but it takes a whole lot more brain capacity to try and read the book in Spanish and learn the language than just reading and escaping into a novel. The other plus side of doing this with a book that you already know and love and enjoy is that you're not taking out any of your frustrations on the story. I'm not judging a book on its characters or its plot structures while also trying to learn the language. I highly, highly, highly recommend giving this a try, even if it's not Harry Potter, just any book that you love and enjoy. Why not learn a new language? Add to your skill set. Make it a goal for 2018. Oops. <laughs> 
don't forget that your library is an excellent resource but again there are tons of resources online for downloading the book to your e-reader or your tablet or your computer or whatever in another language. All right that's it for this video please comment down below and let me know which book you have read over and over again that you practically have it memorized. And also if you know multiple languages or you're attempting to learn a language now please also comment down below and let me know if there are any tips or tricks or anything that you found to be very helpful. I would absolutely love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to reading and I will see you all on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.